In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie the clinch knot the fastest way. Heck, I can even do it with minimum looking. I can have myself blindfolded and I can still tie this knot. So let me show you guys, ready? I'm gonna demonstrate. The only time I look is when I take this and put the line through the eye of the hook. And by the way, this is a Storm Wild Eye Shad, okay? So I'm now I'm gonna look directly at the camera. I'm not even gonna look at it. It's gonna be right inside of me. Hopefully I'm recording it, but boom, this is it. Done, look at that. See how fast that was? Super duper fast. Let's have a closer look so I can break down to you guys how I tie this knot. Let me show you guys the technique of tying this lure. Now you have your lure in one hand right here. Of course you wanna thread the line through. You wanna hold the tag in with your thumb and index finger and you just wanna make sure you have just a little bit right there available because you're gonna need to grab this later. So from here, what you wanna do, you see this little arc that uh, your two line has made and your lure. You want to put your finger, your index finger, in between there. And what you want to do is twist. And when you twist, you want to make sure your lure swings around your finger. And this is really important, guys. You don't want to do this with treble hooks. I mean, you can, just be very, very careful. After you get enough wraps, and four to five, five to six, it really depends on how thick the line is. So your, your index finger is in the loop right here, right? What you want to do, you want to fit your thumb through it. So now you have like a pincher through that loop and you wanna pinch that tag end and pull it right through. And there you guys have it. The clinch knot tied very quickly. Of course, you wanna wet the line. I know some of you guys do not like tying the clinch knot because if it's not tied properly, it's gonna slip and the knot will fail. Quick tip on how to prevent that. Now, before I tell you that tip, two things that really really important when tying the clinch knot, and that is you gotta wet the line, and then also you gotta have enough wraps, and the amount of wraps depends on how thick the line is. Now, that sounds all complicated, right? So let's just skip that all together, and let me talk about the actual tip that I'll show you. In fact, Extreme Philly Fishing, Leo Shang does this all the time. I watch him tie his knots in his fishing videos, and this is very genius. So let me show you. All right, so starting the clinch knot, we're gonna tie everything the same way, but there's only one extra step, and that is after you thread your line through your lure, what you wanna do is at your tag end, just put a small overhand knot, just, just one, very small, just like that. And what you wanna do is when you do tie your clinch knot, you don't wanna wrap it too many times because you actually want this to slip. And what's gonna happen is when it slips to that knot, See that knot right there? I'm gonna pull it. Boom, that knot gonna join up to that knot where everything's cinching together and it's act as a stopper. That's not gonna slip. One more time we'll do this, but we'll do it the improved version. Not the improved clinch knot, but the one that has a knot that's preventing it from slipping, all right? So again, so what you wanna do is thread the line through the eye of the hook. You wanna tie a overhand knot just at the tag again. Just one will do, all right? There you go. You want to set your line up, main line, palm and your three fingers, tag in, thumb and index finger, put your finger onto the lure, twirl the entire lure around, just like that. Put your finger, your uh, thumb through the loop, grab that, pull, and you want it to slide, and it's sliding right now. I did like about four to five wraps, and there you go cinched up really well. That overhand knot is preventing that clinch knot from slipping. Give it a try guys, you guys will like it. I learned how to tie this knot for my wife's uncle and he loves to do a lot of party boat fishing and sometimes when he go out fishing on a party boat, it goes into night tide. And he has a little bad sight, especially in the dark. So he developed this way using all motor functions. He able to wrap the, the lure around the line and then magically using his fingers, he knows exactly where the tag end is, pulling through the loops, make it so easy. He could do this whole thing blindfolded in seconds and with the boat moving. That's impressive. I thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a like. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I have a ton of fishing videos that's coming as well as useful videos like this. If you guys have some cool knot tying tricks, leave me a comment below. I totally appreciate it. And if it's something really, really cool, I will definitely put it on my channel. Again, thank you for watching guys. Titles not properly and tight lines.